good morning or well good afternoon everyone <laughs> welcome to vlogtober day number 15. so it is afternoon now it's right at one o'clock and uh this morning i actually slept in and it felt amazing i got some rest um so many things that um i have on my agenda to do today um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do first. So right now I'm simply, I'm here in the kitchen prioritizing. I just finished taking my vitamins and I just finished taking my sea moss, which are a must, you guys. If you are not taking sea moss, I highly recommend it. It has so many wonderful health benefits. I am really enjoying it. My body is really loving it right now. But anyway, um, so I'm just trying to get my day together, trying to prioritize what I'm going to do first. It's after one. I have not eaten, so I want to get something to eat. I actually have a free coupon from Chick-fil-A right up the street and Angel Angelina is also working right now. So I think I'm going to pause for a moment, run up there and get me some lunch and then come back and do some of the things that I wanted to do today. Y'all have not even finished my fall de decorating. I mean, it's about to be time to decorate for Christmas before you know it, but I am determined to get it done this weekend. I'm hoping today is the day. Also, uh, I am craving crabs. I really want some uh, a seafood boil. So I'm going to go and see um, if they have any, um, the box of crabs that I would, the snow crabs I would normally get at Kroger. I'm going to go see if they have some of those. If so, I'm going to make some of those today because I could really use some. Uh, I saw a video on YouTube where somebody had just made some snow crabs and it looks so delicious. And I'm like, I could really use that today. And so it's been on my mind. So I think I'm going to get that. I want some snow crabs with some cucumbers and that delicious, uh, it's the Be Love sauce that I like to make. Um, and some of that. I think that's what I'm going to do today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So anyway, um, yeah, come along with me today, guys. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, cooking. Uh, well, I'm going to do a lot of cooking, actually, today. I have quite a few things I want to get to. I'm hoping to do a lot of cooking. And then I want to at least get started with... Um, putting up packing away my spring and summer decor so come and spend this beautiful day with me i'm so glad you guys are here all right so this is the current situation in the master bedroom we have a juliet balcony off the side of our bedroom and it started to have a little water damage underneath the balcony which kind of came into the bedroom and so we have the construction workers they are repairing that part of our floor here in the master bedroom and it is done they got that part completed this week thank goodness so now it's just um getting the balcony done over so this is what our master bedroom looks like looks like right now so we have of course another bedroom that we've my husband and i have been staying in but this is what it looks like right now um i have some footage also of what it looked like before so i'm going to show you guys a before picture of what it looked like on the outside of our house with the balcony and then a little bit of the process. I'll put a little bit of that video in here later on in the video or in today's vlog. And then you know, th you'll see this is what the floor looks like now. But we're glad that they were able to get this much accomplished this week. I'm so pleased. And hopefully by the end of this coming week, they will be done and we can get back in our bedroom because right now, this is the actual railing right here, guys, that goes on the outside of the balcony. It's a Juliet balcony. I don't know if I said that. And we absolutely love it. So we're just going to repaint this over. The, the workers are going to repaint it over. And we're going to put that right back because we love it. It looks so beautiful on our home. So we're just going to keep that. We don't want to get anything new. But we're going to get new French doors and, of course, a new balcony flooring and all of that good stuff. But, yeah, this is the current situation in our bedroom. <laughs> Um, I have a coupon I want to use for my my free uh, nuggets. So with that, I want to get the eight count grilled nuggets. Yes, ma'am. 
And then let me also get a side salad with ranch dressing. So um, if you guys hadn't, haven't guessed it, Angelina works at Chick-fil-A. And um, so I'm hoping she's at the window today and I'll get to see her. I love seeing her whenever I come by to order, which I always came by Chick-fil-A quite often anyway. Um, but now that she works here, I come even more often. <laughs> So uh, I'm doing better with my food choices though. So I got today, I got the, well, you just heard what I ordered. I got the grilled nuggets and the garden salad and some ice, um, cause I have my water right here. And so that's going to be my, I guess it's really past lunch. This is my breakfast and lunch all together. Cause it's 2.43 right now, 2.43, first meal of the day. And I'm, my head is really hurting. So I need to stop doing this. I need to stop doing this unless I'm, intentionally fasting or something and today was not intentional at all so but i am hungry all right so i got my salad here i put some of these crispy garlic flavored onions on and then i've got of course the grilled nuggets now these right here they're kind of big so i'm gonna cut them before i put them on the salad all right so sometimes these are a little too big so i just go ahead and cut them in half before I put them on this salad. All right, I've got my ranch on there already. Put my grilled chicken on. And there we go. That is my lunch and breakfast. getting ready to make dinner. I am going to put on pause my craving for the seafood boil. And instead, I'm gonna go ahead and make these um, cube steaks. And what I usually like to do with this is make like beef tips with them. Um, so I'll cook them up, I'll cut them into cubes and then add some gravy and rice and things like that on them. And it lasts a really good while. Um, and so I wanna have this in the fridge so that we can kind of eat on this for the remainder of the week. And tomorrow, um, I'll probably make the seafood boil. This way, if my husband doesn't want the seafood boil, then um, he'll be able to have this to eat. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and cook this up and I'm gonna show you guys how I make my cubed steak into delicious beef tips and gravy. <music> low-carb version of this. This isn't it. This is the version that I made traditional, traditionally for my family. But I will show you a low-carb version. Um, they're just a low-carb recipe that I make with the cubed steak, okay? So anyway, let me finish this one because um, I have mine reserved over there. But drop that on in. And I could have waited for it to get a little bit hotter, a little bit more hot but I'm just gonna go on, go with the flow here. And when you drop in any of your, any meat or anything into hot oil or anything into hot oil, make sure you always put it in away from you so that if you accidentally drop it or if it falls or anything, it won't splash on you, but it'll splash away from you. Because of course we don't want you guys, you don't wanna get burned. All 
minute. There's actually one more left. Once these cook down a bit and shrink a little bit, then I'll put the last one in there and let it cook. So when you get your, when you get your meat out of the flour, make sure you shake off the excess because you don't want all of that in your pan. Okay, and there's a little bit of room that's been made since these have cooked and shrunk down a little bit. So I'm gonna stick that one on in there. Right, so let's go ahead and turn these over. Now, if they're not finished cooking, that's okay because um, we are going to, these are gonna finish cooking in the gravy. All right, so it's okay if they're not completely cooked all the way because they're, the cooking process is it's quite lengthy. These right here, this is a tougher cut of meat. Uh, that's why, one reason why they cube it. So um, I usually let this cook for quite some time. But this is what it's looking like now. Of course, this one right here is the one I just put in, but the ones that have been going, this is what they're looking like. This is ready. I'm gonna turn off my burner and I'm gonna take these out. See that? And I'm just gonna place them here so they can drain. All right, and we're not, we're going to be cutting these up into cubes anyway, so you can just go ahead and let it drain on a paper towel. All right. And this one went in last, so I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer. All right, everybody, so for my gravy, I am cheating. I am not making a homemade gravy, but I am going to use this brown gravy mix. I'm not sure if I've ever showed you guys how I try to make this taste as homemade as possible. So let me show you guys what I All right, do. so I have my measuring cup right here. To this, I'm going to add some of the brown gravy powder. I never measure. I don't know how much that is. Forgive me, I'm sorry. But I just put some in there. I know we like, family loves a lot of gravy. And to this, you just simply add water, all right? And I do not add a lot of water at this point because I'm also adding water to the skillet um, once we get everything in there. So I just add water to this just to get it in liquid form pretty much, okay? I just add a little bit, because trust me, the moment it gets in that pan with that heat, it is going to thicken up. And so we're gonna add more water or even chicken broth to this if you'd like, or beef broth if you'd like. All right, so now I just made a little liquid. Of course, it would call for a lot more than that. But right now, let's get over to our skillet and let's get our onions in. All right, so here's our skillet. Um, there's still oil in here from the um, cube steak that we just cooked. And I already had some onion cooked up from another meal or another prep or something, so thank goodness. So I'm just going to add these onions in. I love it when I already have onion ready to go. I think of having chopped up onion every single time I cook. Right. All right, so we got that in there. Oops, that's good. <laughs> And the thing about it is you still have those bits from the cube steak that, that have the flour on it. You still have all of that in the bottom of our pan here. So it's going to create something beautiful here in a moment. All right, so now I'm going to add in the gravy mix. that out. So now remember I told you this was going to thicken up. Look at that. See how it's thickening up? You see that? How it's becoming clumpy? We don't want that. So let's go ahead and add our water. going to make a fabulous, delicious brown gravy. All right, so now I usually get these and I just cut them into cubes.
All right, and now these will go into the gravy. All right, now we're just going to drop these in. This is in an effort to keep it from splashing on me. I'm just going to drop them in with my tongs here. And then all of those little bits, you want all that to go into. It's all flavor, okay? Put all of it in there. And then mix because you want to make sure that every beef tip is completely coated in that delicious gravy. All right, now I added a little bit more water to this because it is going to thicken up even more because you gotta remember the beef tips are coated with the flour and seasoning. So uh, you don't want it to be too thick, but again, you want it to be, you don't want it to be too runny either. So adding a little bit more water would give us just the right consistency for the gravy that we want. All right, now we're gonna cover and let that simmer for at least 30 minutes until our beef tips are nice and tender. Okay, so over here I have one more cubed steak left. That's this one right here, and I'm gonna cook it up, and I'm gonna show you how I cook up my cubed steak, low carb style. Okay, so for my low carb cubed steak, I'm going to add avocado oil to the bottom of this skillet. I'm gonna drop that in. All right, I'm gonna let that like get a nice little sear. Then I'm gonna remove it, add some onions and some other veggies, and then uh, we'll just let that cook slowly here on top of the stove. All right, let's turn this over. Oh, it's not ready. See how it's still sticking? It's not ready to turn over yet. So I'm gonna leave it alone and let it finish cooking. All right, let's check on this. There we go, it picked up easily that time. All right, we're gonna turn that over, let it cook on the next, on this side right here for another two minutes or so. All right, so this is ready to be taken out. It's not done all the way but we're gonna go ahead and take it out and we're gonna let it finish cooking. But right now to this, all those fabulous bits, I'm gonna turn my burner down a little bit to medium. I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil, uh, excuse me, avocado oil to the skillet here. And then into this, I'm going to add some onions in, add in some onions, and we're gonna add in some bell pepper. onion and bell pepper in here. So we're gonna let this cook up for just a little bit. I'm gonna add a little salt. And let me get something else. I don't wanna burn or scratch my stainless steel with this fork. I'm going to add in some crushed garlic. Flavor. You all do not use a fork in your stainless steel. All right, <laughs> listen to me. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Add some chicken broth. And that's about a third of a cup of chicken, I'm sorry, about a fourth of a cup of chicken broth that we've just added to that. Now to this, we're just going to add our steak right back in here. Pour those juices in there. And I'm gonna turn the heat down to low. We're going to cover and let this cook until it is nice and tender.
delicious. I have now got the kitchen all cleaned up and I've got me some water in the tea kettle there so I can make me some tea and the dishwasher is going and that's it. I am done for the day. I'm getting ready to go upstairs, take a shower and relax. Thank you so much for joining me for another video today. It is always a pleasure. I will be back tomorrow with another vlog. So I hope to see you guys back then. But until then, it is my prayer that you and your family have a blessed and a prosperous day. And I'll talk to you in the next video right here on Sincerely Virginia. Bye.